Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Jason. I'm so excited that you're here. Thank you for joining me for Coffee with Compassion. Thank you for being a part of what's going on this morning. I'm glad you joined me. Uh, if you would, just go to the comment sections if you need prayer this morning. We'd be glad to pray for you. Just tell us what's going on. Tell us how your day is going. We would love to hear from you uh, this morning. You know, this week we started the series Making a Difference. That's the uh, sermon series we're going through, and it's really about serving God and about um, answering the calling that God has for our lives, you know. And I really, um, we saw as Pastor Howe started the series that our calling is really linked to who we are. As a matter of fact, he had an awesome quote. He said, "About co our calling is about who we are before what we do. And so many times we get that um, backwards. We're always looking to do something for God or, or we're looking to see uh, what he's called me to do and not really work on, on working on the person of who he wants us to be sometimes. And we get that backwards. But um, that means the onus is more on our identity than is what we can do. Uh, for God necessarily, you know, he wants to work on the inside before he could see what we do on the outside. It also means the actions that we are performing for God, that we do walk out for God, um, flow from our character, flow from who we are. You know, Peter writes that we're called to be holy as God is holy. And if you were part of the worship experience, you saw that there's five character traits that Pastor Howe um, touched on that are linked to holiness. And th those traits are humility, love, um, unity, influence, and peace. And we work on those character traits and they will pour into the holiness that God has called us to walk in. Um, today, I wanna just talk about love. And I wanna talk about how love relates to our calling. I feel like God's given me something to share and I, and I was kind of excited about it when I was studying it. but. 1 Corinthians 13, 13 says this, three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these is love. The importance of love in our life can't be overstated. You know, what, what makes it the greatest though? What makes, you know, faith and hope, they're important. Why would he even mention that? Why does he mention that love is the greatest? You know, faith, let's look at faith just real quick. Faith is what tethers you into believing something that is promised. Um, that you're gonna hope it comes about. Um, hope is what tethers that faith. Uh, it, hope is what tethers you to trust someone. You know, I can have hope in God because I trust him to do what he says. So it tethers me to that person, the person of God. But love is different. Love is not just, uh, simply an anchor like hope or a tether like faith. Love is a driving force. It will drive you into action. Nurturing your love uh, relationship with God is what will drive you into action for the things that he's called you to do. You know, as a matter of fact, when he talks about uh, the love being the greatest of these three, love is even what drives your faith. It's what drives your hope. Without love, your faith and your hope itself would wane because love is such a, a driving force. Well, what do I mean? Well, why would a mother jump in front of a speeding car to take a hit for her child that she sees that's about to be run over. It's love. Why would someone volunteer at a nursing home simply to lend an ear and listen to someone and nothing more? It's love. Love drives actions. Why would a soldier uh, give up his life for his country? It's love. Love drives us to do things. Love drives us to do crazy things uh, sometimes. Love drives these actions. And love can also take the calling that God has put in your life and drive it so much further. You will go beyond uh, human limits. You will be go, be go beyond the own, your own limits that you've put in your life because of love. First John 4, 8 reads like this. But anyone who does not love God, love, excuse me, but anyone who does not love does not know God. For God is love. Anyone can experience the emotion of love. Anyone can experience uh, that natural love that a mother has for a child or, or a brotherly love that you find something in common with a group 
or even just an individual uh, that you find something in common that, that makes you go the extra mile with and for those people. But unconditional love is a little bit different. That unconditional love that God has put in you drives you to do supernatural things. It drives you to do the things that can change the world around you. John 14, 21, he writes, whoever knows and obeys my commandments is the person who loves me. This is not Jesus simply looking uh, for soldiers. This is not Jesus looking for drones just to do what he says to do. But what he's saying is it, it's all about the, the character trait of, of love. To love J Jesus is to love the things he loves. To love Jesus means that you will care for the things he cares for. So you can see once you love Jesus and you start loving those things that he cares for, those things that he sees, it becomes a driving force in our life. It means you have his vision. It means you love his calling it means you love his quest when you have that kind of love in your life you'll do anything for the calling of Christ but it comes from that individual relationship it comes from allowing him to do that in our identity to place that character trait within us first and then we can answer his calling and we can obey and walk in those commands with joy because we have the same love and joy that he has my courage encouragement for you today is this if you struggle or not with your love for God. Spend time working on your relationship with him. Spend time nurturing that relationship and nurturing that love. Let me pray for you, God. I pray for every single person watching. Bless their footsteps today. Go before them and behind them. Watch over everything they do. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Love you guys. See you soon.